Good afternoon and welcome back to the Maldives. Still can't believe I'm saying that. Feels so surreal. Today at Elidi we're doing something so exciting. A lot of you have actually been asking about what the food is like in these sort of resorts. So what we thought we would do is we would make a video exclusively on the all-inclusive buffet with a twist. They actually have their own organic farm which some of the fruit and vegetables come from. So we're gonna check that out first before we sneak into the buffet. Being that no island in the Maldives is bigger than eight kilometers, it is actually kind of essential that you can sort of grow some of your own fruit and veg on the island without it being imported island to island. Um, and it massively helps with, of course, the global warming issue, which is massive here, being one of the lowest nations in the world. Only I think around a meter above sea level on average. This country is massively, massively at risk to uh, the rising sea levels and there's even talk of some of the islands or a lot of the islands not being in being here to 50 to 100 years so growing your own fruit and veg is just one of the ways you can help prevent that and this is the Elidu organic farm fun story it actually didn't mean to happen they planted a few things and it has just expanded over six to seven months i can't wait to get in there because actually you'll be able to see what we eat and look at it spans I love these, miles. I love these, you can call it a farm to table experience, I love that. Farm to table, garden to table, garden to plate, whatever you want to call it. And you can actually see here they have now a whole team of members that specialise on all different things. You've got people that specialise on the tree life, you've got people that specialise in the vegetable garden and people that do the maintenance. Such a cool idea. They actually go through 64,000 litres of water per day to water all of these plants, which is a hell of a lot of water. Some things take between around three weeks to grow, which is a really short turnaround. And instead of the water being pumped into the ocean, they use it here. So everything is recycled. The idea is to have a small variety of vegetables, but from that variety, make a huge bulk amount. Again, a really good concept. It's easier to do this rather than having a huge variety and not having much of any of them, have a big variety of the ones that you can grow and then you can import the ones that you're not. A banana tree would give a crop once a year. Ah, okay. A banana tree. Wow. So if we were going to have a proper yield, we'll have to have 360 <laughs> banana trees. So we don't have that. Aubergine is like my new favorite vegetable and they have different types here. Like I've never seen an aubergine with like a white bottom <laughs> or stripy that is literally, aubergine. You literally just said it, that is the emoji. That is the emoji. It looks just like the emoji on WhatsApp, but it's so cool. I just absolutely love fresh fruit and vegetables. It's over here and if you, if you, if you see, you find small pods of uh, coconut yeah coming up you know small pods of coconut plant oh, plant. oh wow. so they start growing through the compost yeah they start growing through the compost so what we do is we gradually take it out and replant it i love how self-sufficient this island is which leads us on perfectly to the buffet what everyone wanted to see and you can actually see quite a lot of these ingredients from the garden go straight to your plate but it is time to eat. We're gonna try some traditional food, some other Asian dishes, and of course, your home comforts. We'll show you everything that this all-inclusive band can get. So this is the main restaurant here, and the buffets run at certain times. So in the morning, it is from 7.30 till 9.30, and at lunchtime, it's 12.30 to 2.30, and then at dinner, it's 7.30 to 9.30. And as you can see, there is a lot going on behind me. I can't wait to see what they've got. And I love the fact you have to wear your mask and they give you gloves to put on. It is very COVID secure. We go and check out the food. Let's go. What I love is the variety when you come here. We're gonna do like a full loop, full way around, check all the food out first and then select what we want. So first you're gonna find like your salad section and your cold meat. So you've got your salami, you've got your smoked pork, and then you come through different cheeses a whole range of different vegetables. You can make your own salad and they'll combine different sauces with your salad to make it perfect. And they even have like little salad dishes that are already made. Look at my hand. I love how well designed the salads are. They're absolutely they look really appetizing. Pleasing. Here we have the breads, loads of different breads as well. You've got your toaster and then you've got 
soup, always two soups, always a vegetable soup and a meat soup. We haven't actually tried them yet because it's so hot. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to come round and you're going to find that you've got more of your western type dishes. You've got vegetarian pizza and grilled fish, which grilled fish would be very local. And onion rings and butter fried chicken and you can actually see he's making the onion rings now. I find it amazing you can actually watch them grilling the fish here and then put here, you just know how fresh this is. It's probably caught this morning. Probably, and this is my favourite section as well, pasta. <laughs> Who doesn't love a pasta? You get so many different types of pastas and they cook it for you fresh. It tastes so good. After the pasta section, you're going to have your vegetable fried noodle section where you can choose whatever type of veg you want there, whether you want egg with your noodles or egg not with your noodles. And then you'll have your meat. It's actually a beef tenderloin being prepared behind me right now on the grill. It looks incredible. And the variety goes on. You have an abundance of different dishes that are kind of all round us. So for example, you have Caribbean chicken, you've got a seafood dish, vegetables, potatoes, and more vegetables, and probably remember, from the garden to plate. Yeah, exactly. Literally, you took the words out of my mouth. These vegetables here are probably fresh from the garden. I can't get over this hand. Look, I can't even put gloves on. <laughs> has to be my favourite section when it's either this or the dessert room and that is the traditional Maldivian or South Asian section. You have got your traditional breads, you've got your poppadoms, you've got your different types of curry. Today they have a traditional Maldivian fish dish as well as a mango curry, a dal curry, sometimes you get a paneer. So you've got sort of a, a mango curry. How Sounds good does amazing. that sound? So you get like a mixture of Maldivian, Indian, Sri Lankan thrown in there. I think there's sometimes you get a coconut sambal. So you get a mixture of the three combined. I mean, I said this was my favorite, but I think this is Molly's favorite. Oh, I'm so, I'm like torn between pasta, Asian and the dessert room, but they honestly have so many different desserts. I don't know what to look at. So like, for example, you've got chocolate ghetto, you have cheesecakes, and then all your fruits that are fresh, some of which probably would have come from the tree, like the banana tree. And then we have over here, always a hot pudding. So today's is honey semolina and always ice cream. So, oh, first plate has to be the traditional plate. And I have gone for a range of different curries, breads, and poppadoms. Right, so we have got the ciabatti, which it, it varies. Some days you get a ciabatti, some days you get a Maldivian roshi, which is very similar to a ciabatti or a naan. You'll sometimes get a naan, sometimes get a paratha. It completely depends, but today we've got ciabatti. We've also got a mango curry. We've also got a mango curry, which looks really good. I wonder if the mangoes have come fresh from the garden, probably. We have a dal, which I love the dal, and the poppadoms here look perfect. Right, so I'm gonna get my ciabatti first, and you've gotta go straight in with your hand, haven't you? With the bread, oh, and get that dal. That looks great, I'm gonna get that leaf out. I think you can eat the leaves, but I'm not going to. Oh wow, that looks perfect. At first, I think it's not, but then that spice hits you, and it's really rich. I love the texture of a dal. It's not too hot, it's like perfectly soft, isn't it? I absolutely love about the all-inclusive that you get something different. I mean, sometimes it's annoying when you find your favorite dish. However, the fact that you get to try different dishes all the time is good. I'm gonna try the mango curry. I have never heard of such a thing. So I believe you don't eat the skin and you just get some, oh, maybe you just like, ah, oh, chunk it out like this. Let's see. Mmm. It it's like slides sweet, right? off. Oh. Oh my god, it's so spicy. Is it? Yeah, so mango's like really stringy. So you get the stringy bits. Oh my god, so, so sweet, coconutty. And then you get that huge spice. That's probably from the Scotch bonnets that we saw in the organic farm. Both resorts that we've been to so far, both seem to love the mango chutney. And this though, it's so you spicy. Will find it's the spiciest mango chutney I have ever had. Mm. I've had it in India, have it at home all the time when you go to an Indian restaurant. It has never been that spicy. You've got to wash it down with a lime beer. Like I say, Sri Lankan, Maldivian, Indian, sort of all combined. I had a coconut sambal last night. 
different again. The spice involved, I think in the Maldives, the spice is like times 10. Now, like I said, my other favorite thing was the pasta. I love how they cook it so fresh. So I have gone for a tomato pasta with peppers, tomato, chili, parmesan, and onion. And he literally just cooked it there for me now. It looks so good. I've got parmesan on the top. It's so, so hot, but... Mm. Yeah, it's really hot. So good. So fresh. They didn't have aubergine today, but normally I would get aubergine in it, but tastes just as good. You need to make sure you pace yourselves at these all-inclusive buffets. You've got your breakfast, you've got your lunch, you've got your dinner. What I like to do is I go from a traditional dish first and class that as like my main dish. Then I'll mix it up and I'll go with like a little mix and match. So I've got onion rings, pizza, and they also do a vegetable fried noodle station, which is really good for it freshly in front of you. Got your onion rings, cannot go wrong. Again, made freshly in front of you. Mmm, mmm, really crunchy, really fresh. You can see the onion popping out. And the vegetable fried noodles. They look amazing. So many colours. All from that garden. Mm. It's perfect. Start traditional. Then go with sort of your home comforts. The noodles home comforts. I don't know. And then move on to the dessert station. I'm leaving them to you so I have more room for my beer. And I'm going to go in for the dessert. Look at how beautifully designed these are. I think this is a... What did we say this one was? It's a black currant mousse. Mousse. With a blueberry on top. Mm. Probably a blueberry mousse then. Yeah, maybe it's a blueberry mousse. Mm. Oh wow. You know what that tastes like? Blueberries. And that tastes like ice cream, but a moussey ice cream. And then I've got a chocolate gatto. Honestly, I can't deal. These all inclusives, then they're not doing me any favours on a beach. Mm, it's like birthday cake. I'm absolutely stuffed. The food is just such high quality. You think sometimes with buffets, they're not gonna be great because they're mass making everything. But so, so good. I need to go and have a lay down on the beach with a couple of beers. But we started off in the organic garden to see what they grow, the fresh produce here. It's great to see that the islands are doing this because it's so, so hard for them. They have to get so much imported, but the fact that they're growing some things there is amazing. Then went in, showed you the traditional food, the Indian food, the Sri Lankan food, everything from South Asia. And then you've got your home comforts and your desserts. It is absolutely perfect. Hopefully that shows you a little bit of what these bands get you in these Maldivian all-inclusive resorts. But I'm going to the beach having a beer and chilling out for the rest of the day. I'll see you in the next one.